Good morning children. We have completed the first term. Now let us get into the second term. In this term, we are going to start with one interesting chapter that is energy. All appliances need energy to work. Many of them get their energy in the form of electricity from batteries or the mains power supply. We also need energy to work and play. We get energy from the food we eat. Energy is the ability to do work. It is closely related to work. Work and energy. We do work while pulling, pushing or lifting an object. Suppose you lift a stone from the ground. The gravity of the earth pulls it down. You have to do work to overcome gravity. That is, you work against the force of gravity. On the other hand, to drop a stone on the ground, you do not have to do any work. It falls on its own if you release it. In this case, the earth does the work in moving the stone downward. Thus, work is done when a force is applied on an object and moves it in the direction of the force. The work done by a force is measured as the product of the force and the distance moved by the body in the direction of force. Work done is equal to force into distance moved in the direction of force. The SI unit of force is Newton and the SI unit of distance is meter. So the SI unit of work will be Newton into meter which is written as Joule after the name of the scientist J.P. Joule. Thus, 1 Joule is equal to 1 Newton into 1 meter. So, now let us define 1 Joule. 1 Joule of work is said to be done when a force of 1 Newton moves a body by a distance of 1 meter in the direction of force. Energy is spent while doing work, that is, energy is converted into work. What happens when you wind up the spring in a toy? You use your body's energy to the mechanical energy of winding the spring. The work is now stored as energy in the spring. When the spring uncoils, the stored energy is converted to work as movement of the toy. Thus, we can say that there is a direct relationship between work and energy. When work is done on an object, the energy of the object increases. For example, if you hit a tennis ball, its energy increases and it moves. However, when work is done by an object, its energy is used up and thus decreases. For example, in the same action of hitting a tennis ball, your body has to do work and thus you use up energy. Thus, we can define energy as follows. Energy is the capacity to do work. Energy is measured in the same unit as work. Therefore, the SI unit of energy is Joule. Now let us learn the different forms of energy. Energy is available in different forms. Let us study some of them. For example, mechanical energy, heat energy, light energy, chemical energy, sound energy, magnetic energy, electrical energy, atomic or nuclear energy. The first one is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion, position or both. Mechanical energy is found in two forms, potential energy and kinetic energy. The total mechanical energy of a body is the sum of and kinetic energies. The next form of energy is heat energy. We use heat energy to cook food. A gas stove converts the chemical energy of liquefied petroleum gas into heat. In electrical stoves, electrical energy is converted into heat energy. Engines produce heat energy by burning fuel. It is then converted into mechanical energy. The next form of energy is light energy. Light is a form of energy. It enables us to see. Plants use the energy in sunlight to carry out photosynthesis. Animals depend on plants for their food. The next form of energy is chemical energy. 
Chemical energy is the energy possessed by substances that can be released by chemical reactions. Chemical energy includes the energy contained in fuels and food. The energy in fuels is released by burning. The energy in food is released by chemical reactions that take that take place in the cells of the body. The next form of energy is sound energy. Sound is produced by vibrating bodies and spreads through air or the other mediums. Sound energy is a form of kinetic energy. A vibrating body possesses sound energy. The next form of energy is magnetic energy. A magnet attracts objects made of iron or other magnetic substances. Opposite poles of two magnets attract each other and like poles repel each other. When you bring two magnets or a magnet and a piece of iron close to each other, they both acquire a potential energy. This is called magnetic energy. The next form of energy is electrical energy. Electric current is the flow of charges through a wire. The energy possessed by an electric current is also known as electrical energy. It can be used to produce light, heat or magnetism. The next form of energy is atomic energy or nuclear energy. The energy stored in atoms is called atomic energy. It is a type of potential energy. Nuclear reactors produce electricity by the fission of uranium nuclei. Since there are, there are a huge number of atoms in every gram of a substance, an enormous amount of energy is released from even a small quantity of uranium. So these are the different forms of energy. We will continue in the next class. Thank you.